What do you think the knockdown he didn't get up? The knockdown. Um, the fact that, that Postal... The fact that Postal has now been on American on HBO twice against a, a, a guy and then a real top guy and scored two knockouts after almost knocking nobody out until now shows you what world-class, what exposure to world-class sparring and a different kind of mentality can do to a fighter. He's uh, Postal is a tall order for anybody. He kind of throws a monkey wrench in there for Lucas uh, Matisse Pacquiao. It's not about, I mean, coming in, it was about Matisse. It's not about Matisse right now. It's, I mean, Matisse can rehabilitate with one win because he's such an exciting fighter and he hits so hard. He's always in a good fight. All Matisse needs is one knockout or one win against a real guy, which he could get, and he's right back in the mix. But the, but the story coming out of the fight is Postal because Terrence Crawford looked like he was in a different category from everybody else at 140, and now it looks like he has his work cut out for him. How do you see that fight, Max, if they were to get together? I, I'll do two more, and then I'm going to, all right? Um, dude, that's why I want to see the fight. Like, how do I see the fight? I suppose I would always favor Crawford against fighters who haven't shown their special until recently. You know what I mean? Until recently, Postal was a good fighter, and then recently he started to show something special. Crawford's been showing something special now for like, you know, eight, ten fights. So, so I think Crawford would be favored, but I don't know who, I mean, it, it, that's, you want to see the fights where it's not so clear who's going to win.